Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. If you're curious to find out how that MT-07 I bought is going that was originally stolen by some shitty little moped thieves, head over to Instagram to keep up with all the latest. Two men have pleaded guilty following an attempted robbery in Hampstead. Ashley Smith, who was 30 years old, of Cardinals Way N19, appeared at Snaresbrook Crown Court on Thursday the 3rd of October, where he pleaded guilty to attempted robbery and possession of Class B drugs, that being cannabis. Jordan North over, who was 26 of no fixed address, pleaded guilty to attempted robbery at Harrow Crown Court on Wednesday the 6th of November. They will both be sentenced at Harrow Crown Court on Friday the 8th of November and actually I've got the results from that right now. So Ashley has been sentenced for 10 years in jail but Jordan currently is waiting on his trial. Police were called to Platts Lane NW3 shortly before 1700 hours on Thursday the 25th July to reports of an attempted robbery involving two suspects on a motorbike. CCTV showed the suspects pulling up behind the victim who was talking to his friend in a car. One of the suspects pulled a sharp object from a rucksack and threatened the man whilst demanding his watch. The man bravely stood his ground and fought the suspects off before getting into his friend's vehicle. The car made off and they were followed for some distance by the suspects. The victim of the attempted robbery along with the male driver of the vehicle and a female passenger got away unharmed and travelled to a restaurant in Golders Green where they were spoken to by officers. Detectives from the Met's Operation Venice team led the investigation. The main breakthrough in the case came when a member of the public called the police to report sort of a suspicious motorcycle which did not have a number plate. It was parked up in a cul-de-sac in Burham Wood. The report was passed to the Met who visited the area and discovered the moped was the same one used in the robbery. CCTV from a local pub was reviewed and it showed Northover and Smith visiting the pub a short time before the offence and Northover over changing clothes. The clothes worn by the suspects in the robbery including a motorcycle helmet were discovered on grasslands at the rear of the pub after the police obtained and executed a search warrant. Smith was arrested on Wednesday the 4th of September and charged the following day. Northover was charged by postal requisition on Tuesday 17th of September. Chief Inspector Corbett of the Operation Venice team said Northover and Smith attempted this brazen robbery after travelling around the streets nearby looking for people to rob. Northover didn't hesitate to draw a weapon when making demands but he didn't bargain on being challenged and the pair went away empty-handed. The victim and the people who were visiting him while unharmed were shaken by the incident. We identified these two suspects after a member of the public grew suspicious and called police. And this case demonstrates how important community information can be. I would like to thank everyone who came forward with information about this offence. These types of cases can be difficult to investigate and the perpetrators mask their identity identities by wearing crash helmets and scarves. It's vital that anyone who witnesses a robbery or sees anything suspicious contacts police and tell them what they know. This information could be vital. And that's a wrap for this video guys. Be sure to keep your bike locked, chained and covered. Just don't be this guy when you're covering your bike.